Hey guys, thank you for joining us on another video. Dave and Alex here, and today we have a super special video we're going to be doing. We're going to be unboxing the HasLab G.I. Joe Sky Striker that we won from Mr. Stevie18 on Instagram, uh, also known as Steve Evans uh, from Hasbro. Such an awesome prize. Thank you. Huge shout out to Steve Evans for having that awesome giveaway, and we were lucky enough to win it. And oh my gosh, I'm just so excited because uh, the Sky Striker was one of my favorite toys growing up uh, back in the 80s when the Sky Striker came out. I remember I got it for Christmas. Uh, I believe it was 1984 when I got that Sky Striker for Christmas. So it was an awesome toy. It was one of my favorite. I had a lot of memories playing with that and, and a lot of the G.I. Joe figures back then. So this is going to be super cool. And uh, once again, huge shout out to Steve Evans. Yeah, I'm really excited for this, uh, you know, it's a HasLab and it's the Sky Striker. We actually don't have a Sky Striker. Um, we would have your original one, yeah. but it's gone, it got lost. So, um, yeah, this is our first Sky Striker in our, uh, in our collection here, uh, and, and um, I'm just, I'm really excited to really be unboxing another uh, another HasLab and to be that just that experience of unboxing a HasLab like with the Razor Crest back there and uh, yeah huge thanks to Mr. Stevie uh, I just can't believe we're actually doing this right now yeah it's super cool I mean it's just it's unbelievable we uh, we uh, found out that we won it uh, a week ago today. When he did his uh, birthday drawing for it, and um, man, it was just, I couldn't get over it. We were in a store, and I started getting some notifications on my phone saying <laughs> congratulations, and I was like, what? So when we got out to the car, you know, I looked at my phone more, and, and we saw that we had won it, and I'm like, we were just blown away. We were just, it was just, yeah. oh my gosh. I just couldn't get, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> So let's get started. Let's uh, we're we're gonna readjust the camera here, and uh, we'll get started with the unboxing. And uh, you know, we can't wait to get into this. Yeah. All right, guys. So here's the box. Here's the Hazlight box that it ships in. Um, before we get started. Um, I want you to go over to um, Instagram, and if you're not familiar with Steve Evans from Hasbro, which I think most of you all are, give him a follow on Instagram. His Instagram is Mr. Stevie 18 so go over there and give him a follow. Now we're preparing to open the box here, and um, it came in really good shape. Um, the shipping, it took a little bit longer than we expected. Uh, it kind of got diverted and went out Midwest, out, all the way out to Iowa. First, it was in Cincinnati, and we thought, well, it'll be here the next day, or at least it was supposed to be. And then it, I guess it got loaded on the wrong truck or something. It went out to Iowa, and then it came back. So it took two more days to get here. We were kind of anxious, but um, yeah, it arrived safely. So that's the main thing. Yeah, and um, yeah, this, uh, it's, it's just always, you know it's going to be a good experience when you see this Hasbro toys with the black bar on top. And it says action figures uh, sitting at your doorstep. You always know it's going to be a good day when you see that. Uh, and here we are opening the box. All right, before we go any further, I want to um, get out my vintage Joes here. And I want to get one of the figures out um, from my vintage collection. This is from my childhood. I've got most of my Joes uh, still. And here we go. Here is my original Ace from my Sky Striker. Unfortunately, he is missing the helmet, the helmet visor. They got lost a long time ago. But um, other than that, he's in pretty good shape. But um, he needs a new O ring. The O ring is dry rotted and stretched out. And um, I've got some O rings. I need to take him apart and replace that. So I've did that to most of my figures. So it's pretty cool that I still have the, my original Ace. All 
right, so now we have the inner box opened up, and um, yeah, it's really cool how they package this. It's like a little tray with handles, so uh, you can just pull on those handles, and and the Sky Striker is packed on top, and you just pull that straight out. It's really cool. The engineering that went into this packaging is just amazing. Yeah. There we go. Easy, you know, very easy to unpack just like that. And there's the sticker sheets with the decals. All right, and there she is. That epic artwork that just looks amazing. Yeah, the classic uh, box. That is really cool. Yeah. You just take in with uh, Ace and Flint over there. I mean, not Flint. Uh, fail safe. Yeah, uh, fail you get safe. To two images. Now, here is the decal sheets. It comes with a Cobra decal sheet which is really cool so you can make this a cobra version of the jet also you can make it an f-14 tomcat like an authentic northrop grumman f-14 which is pretty awesome or you can apply the decals and make it a classic um sky striker or many of the other versions like you know there was different versions released over the years um that you could just apply any of those, any combination of those decals, and that that's really cool. But I really like. I think it's really cool that it came with authentic Tomcat decals, so you can make a a jet from like the U.S. Navy or something. It's pretty cool. I mean, the decals are just so extensive. It's just amazing how much how much detail is in the decals. And there's the classic instruction booklet right there. Yeah, it's the classic uh, blueprint style uh, that all the G.I. G. Joe vehicles came with. That was really cool to see. I haven't seen that in a long time. And now inside. Yeah, here's a closer look at that uh, uh, blue, blueprint sheet. It gives you details about where everything goes. That is really cool. And now... Inside of this big box under where the Sky Striker laid, we have the figures. And here's one of them right here. We got the Cobra Ground Crew. It's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool figure. That's um first time that figure's been released, and um, yeah, that's really cool. And second one out, we have Cobra Trooper. Pretty cool. Classic Cobra Trooper right there. The back with the file card. You can see the HasLab logo back there. And Cobra Commander, such a cool figure. Yeah. The classic Cobra Commander with the misprint uh, Cobra, what they call the Mickey Mouse Cobra on the chest. Um, the artwork has been changed a little bit on that one. Yeah. Which I think all of them have been. They, they, I don't know why they tweak the helmets, though. The helmets kind of look weird to me. But other yeah. than that, pretty cool. And... Then we have Night Force Ripcord, which is really cool. This is like the later G.I. Joe card back design from, I guess, late 80s, early 90s, I think, is when they did that style. So that is really cool inclusion in this set. Yeah, I think the card back on that one looks really good. And. 
And next up, we got Ace right there. Looking pretty cool. Yeah. And I believe this is the first time the classic Ace has been on a card back, which is really cool. Because originally he was just a packed in figure with the Sky Striker, so he didn't receive his own card back. There's the back with the file card. The classic file card, too. It doesn't just have a bunch of random languages that nobody cares about. Yeah, it actually has all the information that the original file cards have, which is a good plus and something I would like to see again. I wish they could incorporate the file cards into the classified series because that would be really cool, too. Yeah. And next up, we have uh, Scarlet with the pilot space suit on right yeah, there. Yeah, another new figure that yeah. this was never... Uh, released back then. I think it's just Ace's body, but with Scarlet's head, right? Yeah, just pretty repaint. much. It's a pretty cool concept there. Have Scarlet be like a co-pilot in the back seat. And there's Failsafe. Yeah, that's a really cool figure with the card back. Yeah. And I really like that one. That one was well done. It has the classic bubble on top with the accessories, the way they uh, used to be done. So the way the figures were packed in the box was just amazing. They had the, those little triangle things we just pulled out there and uh, kept them separated, kept them from rubbing against each other. That was really well done. All right, so let's take a look at the actual Sky Striker box. This artwork here is just epic. I remember it very well from that Christmas morning when I opened uh, the Sky Striker for the first time. Pretty much the same as far as I can tell. There is a little tweak here. I don't remember the names being there, but uh, other than that, I think it's all original artwork. And then uh, let's take a look at the sides of the boxes in the back. Here we have photos of the Sky Striker. Very cool. We have uh, pictures of the accessories, the missiles, the removable seats with parachutes, the landing gear, and the swept wings. And then on the back we have artwork that shows all the moving parts, all the accessories that you can add to the aircraft. Yeah, and it's uh, like um, clip art kind of. Yeah, really cool. Open canopy, parachutes, the two figures. Um, yeah, really cool. Wow, this brings back memories. All right, so let's get this Sky Striker box open and see the plane itself finally. Here we go. I can see it in there. Oh. oh, oh. oh. Go. All right, so there we have the body itself, and um, wow, cut this up. So the the back part is already come undone somehow. Shipping, I guess. Wow. So there we go. Here we got it. Okay, so we have to keep uh, rearranging the camera and everything because we're, we're, this thing is so big. So um, I'm surprised this part already has the decals on it. So that's that's interesting. You got the decals around the canopy, the G.I. Joe um, logo, the Air Force logo, the 100 on the nose. And on the, the top, you have the walkway and removable panel decals. Sky Striker down the side, and then underneath some other blast warning decals. It's kind of interesting that those were already on there. I remember on the original, I'm pretty sure I remember putting all these on there, but I could be wrong. So first thing is to assemble the wings. So they're in this wax paper right here. So I'm gonna uh, unbox or um, take them out of the wax paper. And while I'm doing that, Alex is removing the engines from the inner box. And there they are, right there, the 
two engines. The, this is the uh, aileron, the rear ailerons. And here are the two wings. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And here's the engines and the original. From my memory, I don't remember there being details molded on the engine. I just remember this part being just all smooth. So that's pretty cool that they've added details to the engines and paint too, because they were just solid black from what I remember. All right, so we have the wings assembled and uh, that looks awesome. Yeah, I really like the look of that. Okay, next we're gonna look for some more parts. Let's check out what's in these wax paper bags. An extra hmm. canopy. I was thinking it came with a, a tinted one and a clear one, but these are both tinted. Yeah, they are both the same amount of tintness. Because the original Sky Striker, if I remember correctly, mine were, was clear. The, the canopy was clear. Oh, here we, we have got the, the seat with the uh, parachute. The parachute is inside there. And these are, the original Sky Striker, Sky Striker was just plastic. These are actually like fabric or some kind of material, which is really cool. The instructions show that you have to put this together, but it's already assembled. Mm. So we'll look at those closer in a minute. Oh, here's what we're looking for. The two black uh, vertical stabilizers. So you have an option. You can do white uh, vertical stabilizers or black ones. And I remember my original... Sky Tracker just came with white ones, but the packaging art showed black ones, and I was always disappointed because I always wanted the black ones because I thought they looked cooler. So, <laughs> so I think I'm going to go with this Sky Tracker. Sky Tracker, I'm going to go with the black ones. Yeah, I think the black ones look a lot better as well. It kind of fits with the um, around the canopy here and everything. Yeah. So we have the uh, vertical stabilizers on there, and I put the black ones on there, so it looks really cool. Yeah, I really like the look of that starting to come together now. Okay, so now we have some more uh, wax paper bags. We're going to open them up and see what's in them. We have uh, two huge blast effects. These oh, are wow. for the, the engines. That's pretty cool. Not sure what that one, that might be for the ejection seat. Yeah. Oh, these are like the um, the missile uh, trails and smoke and flame coming out of the missiles, which is really cool. And we have two more for, I'm assuming, uh, smaller missiles. Really cool. Some more accessories. Looks like a ladder. It's pretty cool. Um, here, these are some mounting pods for missiles. Um, not sure what that piece is. We'll have to investigate that further. This is the uh, instrument or sensor pod that goes underneath the Sky Striker for... On the nose, um, underneath the nose, right? Yeah, for like the guns or the... It's like a sensor pod for guns and weapons and stuff. And here's some more mounting stuff for missiles. And let's see if we have any more accessories. Oh yeah, I already got uh, decals on it. So this is like a fuel tank, external fuel tank. Here's the big uh, Phoenix missiles. They got uh, decals on them also. And um, that looks like a, another, uh, it might be a bomb. Or a fuel tank. I don't know. I'm not sure about those. And we have four more missiles here. And any more, Alex? Uh, some down here on the yeah, end. Yeah, there's some in there. More missiles. Oh, wow. These are like the little Sidewinder missiles. These are four of those. Wow, it's a whole lot of missiles. Yeah. And I believe I believe they've got them all. They're don't. just, oh, they're just all in this like general area of the screen right there. So 
Is that all the accessories? I think so. Okay, so uh, we off camera we assembled everything, and uh, I did the decals, and I uh, made the Sky Striker uh, like the classic Sky Striker uh, from like 1983, 84 when it first came out. I put the black vertical stabilizers on there that was uh, that you saw previously, but the decals are now on there. The classic Sky Striker with the eagle on there that looks really cool. Also put the uh, the red, white, and blue stripes on the wings. And then a bunch of miscellaneous, like no step decals. And then all the other little miscellaneous decals underneath. Also, we put the decals on uh, the gas cart or the tanker, the gas tanker. And uh, the, uh, the motorized cart that pulls it has a nice set of decals that goes on it. It gives it a lot of realism, which is really nice. I think it looks really cool. Yeah, this is just totally awesome. And also, you know, it came with um, other sets of decals where you could make like a realistic F-14 if you wanted to. I used some of those on the base here. You can see here under just the light, uh, the Norfolk Grumman logo, the uh, F-14 Tomcat logo and the Air Force logo on the display base. I think it turned out pretty cool. So each missile comes with a blast effect and get, you can attach to the tail of it. This is the smallest missile. Um, and it has a smaller uh, blast effect. This is the medium missile, which is, I believe, uh, what, AIM-9 or something. And you can see there it's a little bit longer. And this is like the Phoenix missile. And it has a huge blast effect on it, so it's really cool. Gives you a lot of display options. Um, you can even, you know, have these on there when you're when they're mounted on the plane. If you want to, or you can even use them on the base here. You can attach them to the missiles on the base, the display stand. That is really cool. Just really adds a uh, really cool coolness to the the whole display yeah next we're going to take a look at the seats here we've already got one out and i've taken the back off of it and you can see there on the back of the seat there is additional details for the uh the rate the radar operator that sits in the back seat that would be like his control console which they've molded like to the back of the seat which is really cool nice additional details and of course, each seat comes with a parachute packed in, just like the original Sky Striker. And we're going to unwind this and take a look at it. And it has the, unlike the original one, which was just a plastic, this parachute is like nylon. And there is the Sky Striker logo. Look at that. That is really cool. And it feels really nice in hand. It's pretty cool. I like that. So uh, we'll have to definitely take these out one day and test them and see if they, how good they work. And that's probably how I lost uh, my original Ace. His helmet and sh uh, visor shield was he was probably in this seat and I was like throwing him up in the air uh, with a parachute. And then when he landed, it probably fell off of him and into the yard somewhere and I never did recover it. And there is what the ejection seat looks like flying out of the cockpit there. Pretty cool, I guess, but uh, I don't think we're really going to display it like this. Yeah, but it is a nice display option. You know, there's just so yeah. many display options with this, and that's one additional option, which is which is kind of cool. I and mean, kind of kind of like an action uh, display, like if you had a Cobra Rattler behind it. You can, you know, display it somehow behind it. Yeah. Pretty cool. And there you can see uh, the molded details and painted details of the 
the cockpit screen, which is really cool. There's actually a flight stick in there and some, you know, looks like screens and displays and uh, really cool. Nicely detailed. And here is the detailing under the removable panels. You got like, looks like hydraulic hoses and stuff in there. It was really cool. Yeah. And you have a gray molding underneath with some details. Really nicely done. And as you can see, both of the details underneath the panels are exactly the same, just backwards. And earlier, uh, we were talking about the additional canopy. This is included to, you can, you can put the pilot's names on the canopy. So if you want additional or you can use additional names and put a different set of names on this canopy. I haven't put the uh, names on our canopy yet. I mean, on actual jets, I think they go down actually right here and not on the canopy, but so if you wanted to swap out different pilots, you could put the different names on here. You could put Duke's name on here or Scarlet or whoever. So I might do that a little bit later, but I haven't done it yet. So I was mistaken about, I thought maybe you, it was supposed to come with a second clear canopy, but um, we watched the Hasbro unboxing and it was exactly like this. It just came with an additional canopy. All right, so now we're back to the figures and we've had much debate about this. And I feel like that you have to have figures to interact with the vehicle, in this case, the Sky Striker. So uh, we're going to be opening uh, these two figures to put into the Sky Striker. First off, I love how these have the separate bubble for the accessories on top up here, just like the, the old figures from the 80s were set up like that. A lot of times the other accessories were in a separate bubble above it instead of being down here with the figure. So that is super cool. That's really nostalgic there seeing that. All right, so uh, as Mr. Stevie says, let's let them breathe. So let's get this started. First, we'll do Ace. And there he is. Nice and tight. Just like the original one. And here we have the new Ace complete with his um, helmet and shield, face shield with uh, my vintage Ace, which is missing the, the helmet and uh, face shield. And then we have a more modern Ace here. It's also an O-ring figure that we bought loose at some point a few years ago. Um, yeah. With a more modern fighter, fighter pilot uh, suit and everything. Which, I mean, I, I know why they did this with the vintage one, but I kind of wish we got a, a modern Ace, too. I think that would have been cool. And um, you can uh, obviously tell that the uh, old vintage Ace is yellowed, showing its age, and it barely wants to stand up because the joints are loose. So, yeah, kind of have to balance it a certain way for it to be able to stand. Yeah, he definitely needs a new O-ring in there, and I've got some... I've got a pack of O-rings, so I need to take him apart and fix him up with a new O-ring. As you can see, he's like very like wobbly, and then if you take the new one, it's completely just solid feeling, very nice, and everything feels very good. All right, next up we have Failsafe, the radar intercept officer who will be sitting in the back seat of the Sky Striker. And this figure is also laid out like the the original figures where his accessories are in this little separate bubble. He comes with a pistol and helmet. Um, the card back artwork is new, right? It's like completely new. So I'm guessing Felsafe is a new name and figure. Um, I'm not 100% sure because I got out of G.I. Joe around, I want to say, after right when Sepentor came around and sergeant slaughter and all that and then after that it started getting kind of 
the figures started getting kind of weird and bright colored and fluorescent colors and stuff and cobra la 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 yeah cobra la la and all that stuff i, I that's when i kind of stopped um being into gi joe stuff so i don't know if fell safe is a new figure just for this or was he a previous figure um back in the 80s or even 90s or or even later on because they you know they've made new characters over the years all right so let's get fail safe opened up and first real quick we didn't do this at ace but we'll show his file card real quick he's from his name is uh Ruthel wayne he's from beth page new york and his rank is lieutenant All right, so now time to get fell safe free. So here we have a close up of uh, fell safe, really cool looking figure, traditional flight suit. I kind of wish uh, Ace looked like this, but I, you know, I understand why Ace looks the way he does because of the the retro nostalgia of that figure. But this this looks really cool. And then let's pop on his helmet real quick. There's his helmet on, but he is missing the breathing apparatus that he would need. But still pretty cool. And there we have Ace and Failsafe in the Sky Striker, ready for takeoff. Yeah, I think it looks really cool. It was kind of a snug fit getting them in there, but then once you get them popped in there, they look really cool. With Ace in the front piloting and then failsafe in the back. That is nice. Yeah, looks really nice. And now the canopy is coming down. The canopy is locked and they are ready for takeoff. Yeah, this is so cool. All right, guys, so we're outside, and today we're going to test the parachute of the new HasLab Sky Striker. So this is really cool, so let's uh, switch cameras here, and here we have fell safe in the ejection seat. I've already pulled the parachute out, so you want to make sure it's outside the seat. And we're just going to wrap it around the parachute the strings. You just kind of hold it like that because if you have it tucked in the seat, I don't think it's going to deploy. So I'm just going to have it like this. So we're going to throw it up and see what happens. We got a north wind. It's kind of cold today, so it's going to go toward to the south. So here we go. <laughs> Kind of deployed early. Can you see him down there anywhere? Oh, yeah, there he is. Here we go. All right, guys, now I'm going to try it. Let's see. All right. Sky Striker's going through the air. Rattler shows up behind it and shoots it down. You know, fail safe and ace. They got to jump out. They got to eject. Well, they still can. In three, two, one. That was pretty good. That was a good one. Let's go. Looks like he had a pretty soft landing there. Looks like he survived. All right, so I hope you enjoyed our little test of the parachutes. We took one outside. 
And um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, I have a lot of memories of doing that with the original Sky Striker in the backyard when I grew up in. I used to sit on this wall, on top of the wall, and throw it off and as high as I could and watch it come back down. So it was pretty cool. And I think that's how I lost Ace's helmet, the original Ace helmet. Um, you know, one time he came down and the parachute didn't open and he crashed to the ground and it was it wasn't there. And I looked all in the grass and everything. And I couldn't find it. I guess we've covered everything on the Sky Striker except for one one little other detail we want to show you real quick. So yeah, the boxes uh, that were packed in, the, the accessories and stuff were packed in, and the parts that on the back side they make a runway, and um, that's pretty cool. So you can, uh, I guess, unfold these. Either you can uh, use this as a display box, like as is, or you can unfold them all the way, flatten them out, and make a join them together and make a really long runway. That's really cool. And then the runway is 83, which is stands for 1983, the year the Sky Striker came out. So that's really cool. So, uh, yeah, nice little touch there. I mean, they're using everything that this thing came with to, you know, you can use it for different things. So it's really cool. All right, guys. I uh, hope you really enjoyed our Sky Striker unboxing and our thorough kind of putting it together and kind of... Uh, you know, showing all the features and everything. It was really cool. Uh, once again, thank you to Mr. Steve Evans for um, sending this to us. And and uh, we got chosen as the winner. So that's really cool. I mean, I'm still just in awe of everything. Once again, thanks to him for, uh, for yeah, sending this out to us. So uh, this is definitely one of the top items in our collection. It's just so cool. So... Um, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't, and uh, leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think about this Sky Striker. It was one of my favorite toys growing up, and um, it's still so cool today. Yeah, uh, I mean, I can't believe we, re we actually won that giveaway, uh, and we got this Sky Striker. Thanks again to Mr. Stevie. Happy birthday to him. Uh, yeah, I mean... This is just amazing. Yeah, once again, make sure you like this video, help our channel out, subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. Alex, take us out. Yo, Joe, and thanks, Mr. Stevie.